Right now, one on one, two contacts. One on one, two contacts, queen of the court. Go. Okay, what we're doing in this drill, what we're doing in this drill here as we start our practices, it works as a warm up. And uh, we use a nine zone system. So the players have to work on covering the three zones. Uh, they have one in the middle, one in the back, and one front. So they have two contacts. This drill starts with two contacts, so they're allowed to use two contacts and then trying to score. And we're playing queen of the court. The, I'm standing over here on the winning side. So the players that, that win come to this side. So they're getting after the ball right away. Yeah, their job is to use their eyes to score. So if somebody is deep, they hit it short. If somebody is up at the net, they hit it over their head. Make sure you look before. Go, go, push it back. And since we're just starting practice, we initiate the balls by throwing the ball over. After we play one on one, we go to two on two, and what they'll do on the two on two is we'll only play on the outside part of the court, and we'll transition to that here shortly. So they'll play two on two, three contacts, and we make them rotate every time the ball goes over. So we want a lot of movement, uh, and this gets us going for practice very, very good. And they love to compete for points. Okay, two on two, outside. Outside court. You gotta rotate every time. Rotate every time. Go. So now they're playing two on two. Pass, set, and attack. Make sure you look before you hit. You gotta move, gotta rotate. The reason we like doing this and not using the middle of the court is a lot of times in an out of system play, this play right here, if something would happen there, she just plays the ball to the person that's closest to them, and then they have more court to hit the ball into. So instead of, we have our system where we bring the ball to the middle to, and attack from area five, which is the middle of the court. Right now they're on the outside, and that's a play right there that happens often. Just touch the ball and let your teammate do the rest. Make sure you rotate every time. Face the net every time. Transition back and swing. So we want to make sure that when a ball goes to the outside of a court during a match, that we just touch it to our teammate nice and easy and we're able to take a swing from there. Uh, another thing worth pointing, this is a 12 and under team and we always practice with the heavy balls in the high net. So this is a normal net. Uh, we, don't, we don't train with the volley lights, we train with the heavy balls, and uh, we always train with the high net. Our next, trend, our next drill, this same drill then moves to uh, three on three, and what we do is we pull one of the antennas down, and now we're playing six zones instead of playing all nine zones yet. Again, we're still warming up. The kids love to play queen of the court. A winner stays, and the loser just gets back in line and tries to win with somebody else. Since there, you got two players covering three zones, it should be very easy to keep this rally going. And so you're gonna see a lot more rallies here. Uh, another thing that we like to do in our play, uh, our system of play is when, and we'll practice this la uh, later on too, is we always want to, if we're not gonna hit the ball, we want to have the setter play the ball. So we always try to make the setter play the first ball. And that this drill really encourages that because they're playing close to the, that ball right there, and it scored. Ha! Huh. No, we're not waiting. We're not waiting. Go, 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 go. 
You gotta rotate every time. Good. Hey, celebrate. Up, up. Okay, there's an example there. Ooh. <laughs> it was out. Go, get out, get out. You gotta transition. Up, up. Out. So what we're doing here, again, we, sh we extended the court a little more. Okay, so they're, now they're covering six zones. Kylie's entering the balls, okay? Go, go, turn around, ball. Ball up, up. So there's a good touch. Take the setter out, please. Okay. Up, 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 up. Go, turn around, go. Make sure you rotate. Good shot. Make sure you look before you hit. Go, go. Up, up. Ready to switch. The other reason I really like this drill, it really gets them competing for points right away. Again, this is part of our warm up, and uh, you're gonna see very, very good play. Ooh, good swing on that one. One of the elements that I believe in ball control is you, you tend to control the ball if you make your zone a lot smaller. So if the girls have a smaller place, they tend to play the ball a lot better. So there's no need for us to play the full court yet. And they're also working on getting their hand and we're very big on trying to get them to spin the ball. There's a good example there, that ball was out of system and she went to play the ball right to the setter, but she refused to play defense. Come on, let's go. Up, up. It is amazing how many how many easy points we play we get every every match by just taking the setter out. Making the setter play that first ball. Ah What's going on, Sarah? That was in. Sarah, what type of ball do we give over? Okay, flat. No up and down ball. No up and down ball. Uh these girls are trained uh, on the three ball trajectories. Uh, we always want to attack the ball flat. If we can't hit it down, then we're going to attack a flat trajectory ball just like that one. And if the ball's below the net, then we want to take the setter out with an up and down ball. That was in. With an up and down ball, but we got to make the setter play that ball. So if we hit an up and down ball, it has to go to the right side of the court. Good shot. Up, 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 come on. Whoa, whoa. Uh, we all wear the magic bands. Nice play there. We all wear the magic bands, uh, magic passing bands, and, and they are magic. And obviously, you can, you can hear how soft that. Ah, take the setter out, Chloe, come on. Uh, you can see how nice and soft they touch the ball and it's good feedback uh, it really helps on ooh, it really helps on them not over swinging and just touching the ball so uh, we have some things that we do with the kids uh, and actually I'll do it here and and we'll ask them what it means we want a very delicate touch Okay, hold up, hold up. What does this mean? Soft touch. Okay, so really focus on your soft touch and extending the platform. Go, two minutes, go two more minutes. Soft touch, that's a soft touch. And just the sound and the, oh, Maggie, Maggie. Soft touch, that's a great soft touch. So you get really close to that ball. 
Oh! Go, go! Turn around, turn around! Up, up! Up, up, up! Ah! Come on, come on! Go to the middle of your zone. Face this way. Face this way, Megan. You can face this way too. Okay, set. Baby set, high set. Baby set, high set. These are some of the, make sure you stay in the middle of your zone. Middle of your zone. So what we want to do here is we want to touch the ball. Just get them touching the ball nice and easy. But what's most important in this drill is that they stay in their zone. And you can see that we still need a lot of work on this. But they have to stay in the middle of their zone. We divide the zone, the court into nine zones. So they need to really work on finding the middle of their zone and staying there. And so now we're just playing with the ball a little bit. A little ball control, trying to stay in their zone. Keep the ball up in the air. Okay, pass. Low pass, high pass. Keep it going. Pass, low pass, high pass. Face the net. Stay facing the net the entire time. Go to the middle of your zone. Go to the middle of your zone. Go to the middle of your zone. Middle, middle of your zone. Stay in the middle of your zone. Find the middle of your zone. Uh, okay, pass and set. Pass and set to sell. Pass and set. Go. Mine up. Go to the middle of your zone, please. Middle, middle. Stay in the middle of your zone. Don't catch the ball. Keep playing. Move, move. You can move. Maggie, face the net the whole time. Put. Keep going, keep going. Okay, pass, set, right, left, head. Crazy combo. Try it. Pass, set, right, left, head, pass, set. Crazy combo, go. Play around. Right, left. Another thing we do uh, here with the Peppers and at Munciana is we really train them to use their hands, uh, one hand touch to get the ball up and we'll do drills later on and we have had so many plays this year uh, where they need to go outside their body and use an emergency uh, technique to get the ball up and they just put their magic band on the ball. So notice everything is just touched nice and easy. Face the net. Face the net. It just gives them a fun challenge. Okay, so what we're doing here, line up right in front. Line up. Get right in front of her. Get right in front of her, Maggie. Okay, what we're doing here is we're, a couple things. We're working on our setting. They're tossing the ball to themselves. This side is working on an up and down ball, and that side is working on a flat ball. We want all of our players to be able to set the ball. Um, we do have a setter, or we have two setters, but uh, we play a lot of times where we let everybody set. Uh, so we want volleyball players that can do all the skills. So what they're doing now is they're working on their ball trajectory. So the far inside away from me is setting the ball flat and this side is supposed to be setting the ball up and down. And another focus correction area on this drill, and I'll, I'll stop here for a second. Hold up. Okay, what do we do with our left foot? And does it stay there? Yes, it does, the whole time. So you guys need to be right in front of your partner, please. Slide over. We want the left, left foot to be on the line and they're going to lift the ball to their forehead and as they set, they're going to step right and then rock back and then that ball should be back on them. Okay, switch. So this side's going what? On there, you guys are going over. Ready, set, go. Keep that left foot on that line. Keep that left foot on that line. So what, they ha what their partner has to do is put the ball right right on their forehead if they can.
Of course, we don't let the ball bounce. We don't let the ball bounce, right? Keep the ball up. So, ah, the ball up. So right now, the girls are setting 20 feet. So they're setting a high ball at 20 feet. They're setting a flat ball at 20 feet. Now, we transition now. Okay, that side, put the ball up. So now we add a little movement with forward shuffle. Set, forward shuffle. Okay, make sure you keep your shoulders square to the net. Ready, go, line up. Go. So now they're shuffling forward. Keep the ball going, keep it flat. Keep it flat, keep it fast. Go, catch it and go. Catch it and go. One of the things that we train our 12 and unders to do here is move. Every time they play the ball, they have to move. So touch the ball and move. You're never going to be stationary, uh, looking pretty, or I don't know what else kids do, but we want them moving the whole time. And we don't want the ball to bounce. Ever. Uh, let's go eight. Barely over, turn and run. Okay, hold up. So now we're going eight of them, okay? You count eight. So now what we're doing is we're working on an up and down trajectory that's very short, barely over the net. So they're gonna, we call it barely over, turn and run. Ready, go. So they gotta go and now the ball cannot bounce twice. It can bounce once, as soon as they get it. it gets their blood flowing a little bit. Gets them pursuing the ball, go, dive. Go, 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 go. Come on, up. Go, 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 Gracie, dive, dive. You gotta dive, go, 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 dive, dive, dive. Come on, Gracie, get down. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. Go, go, dive, come on, Megan. Eight of them. That eight, H2. What we do if we want our kids to take a water break, they got to take a lap with pass and set. They go around the back court, and we always break out. Don't cut corners. Face the net the whole time. So every time we take a water break, we take a little lap. Again, we're always touching and moving, touching and moving. Touch the ball and move. Touch the ball and move. What's next? We always break out with our H2O. Break them out, make it loudly. 